Well, good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So we are downstairs today because we have a 100 degree heat index outdoors and it is too blooming hot for them and me. So we decided, oh I know, scared your pajeebies out of you. We were coming back downstairs. So, let me change positions. We are down here with Pebbles Kids. And these guys are doing really, really good. Um, they are, today is, I don't even know what day this is, what's the date, let's see. 18th. Today is the 18th. And uh, so today they are five weeks, and I think they're gonna be on the 21st, they're going to be six weeks old. So they're getting there, they're a little bit kind of apprehensive, like I don't know where we're at or what we're doing. Um, these are all girls, by the way, and there is a couple of these that are sold, and there's a couple that aren't sold. So these are going to be too small to spay and neuter while they're here. So this would be something you'll have to do on your end when it gets to your end of the country. Um, they're doing really good. They're like really interested and, and inquisitive and looking at everything to see what's going on down here. She says, I smell other dogs. They must have been down here. So this is our second group downstairs today. We decided with it so hot, I didn't want to sit out there in the heat. And I know Vanessa didn't want to sit out there in the heat. We've tried to do as little as possible out there today. And Vanessa started outside in the kennel this morning so we could get inside out of the heat. And uh, we've done a little bit out there this afternoon, but it is just so stupid hot, it's crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and give you microchip numbers. Oh, there's one, there's one that makes noise, guys. Um, we're gonna do weights and uh, I'll give you collar colors. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? I know I see you. You guys are busy. You're, you're missing inquisitive into everything, aren't you? Are you missing inquisitive into everything? So we'll go ahead and get started and I'll give you information on all these guys. Um, they're gonna get their six week shot this week. I know. See, Friday you get stuck again, don't you? I know, what you just a good girl. So this little girl has a turquoise collar on and she has black eyes. Nobody in this litter has blue eyes. Um, she's got black eyes. She's always gonna be a black and white party. She'll always have black around her tail. Her sister doesn't have black around her tail. So this is the only one that does out of the two that are black and white. She's got a big black spot on this side. And these puppies on the website, if they say available above them, then they are available. If they're the ones that are sold, they'll be down below the ones that are available and it will actually say sold and give you the family's name that's taking the puppy. This is 2187. I know, what are you shaking for? What are you shaking for? I know, it's your good babies. She says, well, I'm a little apprehensive and not really sure where we are. We don't come down here very often. This one is one pound, 2.2 ounces. She's just a little stinker. Um, expected sizes in this litter, you're gonna be about nine pounds. Um, I don't think anybody, including this little one, is gonna stay that <clears throat> tiny. I know a little teeny one from Ceres puppy that only weighed under two pounds when it went home. Um, I think it's up to two and a half to three pounds now and it's been home a couple weeks, but they just had their last, uh, last puppy shot and I think she's potting over there. She's like, got her head down, but I'm very sure what she's doing is not the head down. And uh, their vet said, yep, that's exactly what I thought you were doing. Um, their vet said that they estimated the puppy would probably weigh about nine pounds. So I think this, this litter's probably gonna go right about the same when they're done growing. Uh, what is on the floor? Something came down here, I'm not sure what that is. All right, what's the matter? So where did you escape from me from? So let me hold you up here and give him a good face shot. There you go, I know, it's a good baby. You want down now? So we'll do the other black and white one while she's right here. She has no black around her tail. She's got a black spot on her side where that one has it also going down her leg. And this little girl does not really have the white spot as much in the, she's got like 10 little white hairs right there. Other than that, her face is pretty much all black, so it's probably always going to look black. I see you, pumpkin. And this one has the yellow collar on. So this one is, and I'll give you a microchip number here in a second, one pound, nine ounces. And microchip number is 2182. I know, what did you weigh? I want to 
see what you were here. I have on my scale back there, honey. Don't touch it, buddy. Don't touch it. Yeah, this one's about three ounces heavier than the other one. So out of the two of them, I guess if you want to know the littlest out of the two, this one's three ounces smaller than this one. Um, okay, this one is the Merle, and this one is sold. Uh, that one was the first one to go. 2191 is her microchip number. She's got such a cute little face. Huh? She's just like a cute face. I'm just all, oh, everybody's got cute faces, huh? You're not helping me back there. No, you gotta leave the scale alone. I know you're you're being helpful. I'm gonna catch you here in a minute. Can I pick you up? I can't reach you. I just don't you leave the scale alone for just no. You don't need your feet on it either. This is one pound fourteen ounces today. Here you go, Munchkin. And coats are really just they're all so nice and soft and long. So you have soft hair. Yes, you do. All right. So she is the neon orange colored collar. Where are you going? You coming up on my lap? And I see you. Are you coming up? This one is $21.88. She is all black. Let me see her chest. No, she's got the little white spot, maybe. No, nope, this is the all black one. Totally, totally black. And she's, I think, the biggest in the litter. She is two pounds, 3.5. And she's got super nice coat, nice and thick getting some curls in my are you jumping and playing is you jumping and playing i get you oh you want your belly rubbed okay scoot over here and i'll rub your belly oh my goodness it's got itchies right there oh my goodness oh my goodness i know you're all bad <laughs> all right i'll put you down now i gotta get a hold of you this is the little one with the pink collar and she's got a neon pink collar let me see your belly. I think you've got white, don't you? Yep, she's got the big white spot on her chest and the little tiny black white tips on the back of her toes. She is 2186. What are you doing? Are you going to chewing on me? I know it's just good babies. Just good babies. Here you good babies. Yeah, you're good babies. All right, let's see what you weigh today. She's little. She might be the winner. Nope, one pound nine ounces. So one pound eight point eight. She's the tiniest. She's the tiniest, and then they kind of go up from there. So that'll kind of give you an idea how everybody's doing. Oh, now we're really into playing with the toys. She says, this is pretty cool. So I'm gonna drag that over there. It's bigger than I am, but I'm gonna try. You gonna play tug of war? Let's play tug of war. All right, pull really hard. Pull, oh, you dropped it. Nope, now you gotta change toys. Okay, fine. Um, they're all really sweet babies. They are, I love this size. This is such a nice size. I know a lot of people go, oh, I don't want one that tiny, but you don't understand. They're not gonna be this tiny when they're bigger. And a nine pound puppy is a great size puppy if you want a lap dog, something that's easy to travel with. Um, stick it in a bag and go to the restaurant. If you start them when they're little, you can teach them to ride in a bag and they don't make any noise. You can take them right in the restaurant, put them on your table, in your purse. Um, that's why they're called pocket puppies and but everybody's kind of always afraid of them when they're tiny but the biggest thing is with these guys is when you get up off the couch don't leave them on the couch because they're going to jump and at this size yeah they could break their leg if they jumped off of the couch so a lot of people teach them or get a set of those steps for them to run up and down and they soon, soon learn to use those really easily oh, I know just, just scratch my back Watch it, it feels so good. We're playing tug of war again over there. She's gonna kill that toy. She's a growling. She says, get off of it, people aren't trying. There, see, I won. <laughs> so, they don't have a very long attention span. It's like from one thing to another thing. But uh, they're all doing great. No issues at all. Uh, mom has been a really good mom with them for their first, her very first litter. So they're, uh, they're all doing really, really good. So if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to give, to give oh, so I'm gonna take the whole thing. You're more than welcome to give me a call. Uh, I'll be glad to answer whatever I can. And uh, I hope you have a blessed rest of your week. We're on the second day of the week. I'm ready for the weekend. Um, but I hope you have a good one, a safe one, and call me with any questions, and we will talk to you later.